Okay, so we were measuring with the parallel, and I had taken a mic and a ball, found the thickest spot, put that in the uh, Inco Bridgeport copy mill over there, and then when I had this in, I had it clamped, which meant I made a couple little marks in the bushing. I had it clamped on both sides, but it stayed there. It grew when I first cut through this, and it grew here by nine thousandths of an inch. So I took that nine thousandths uh, times the times pi so that I could see how much extra length I had pushing up on both sides here. And then I subtracted that from my normal figured height and I made this slightly shorter to make up for that so that it should still be a very slight tap in fit as it goes down. Might need a bigger tapper, but maybe not. And then we will do um, pinnings. We'll pin it with uh, tapered pins on each side, but could do something else too while we're here just for fun. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's put some bluing on it. Oops. I hadn't really thought about this at first as far as I was just going to oil it up and see how it felt. But uh, we can actually blue it and look at it. We need to uncover the axle that it fits. I had lots of paper scratch marks while I was cutting this and remeasuring with it in the mill to get the uh, where it tapped in there. I actually wanted it slightly tighter than it was, but I know where I made my math error. And then I cut down about one and a half thousandths further than I wanted, but it's okay. Doesn't need to be that critical. Uh huh. And John did not. I think it's this corner back here. The op opposite corner back here, I think. I forgot to strap that back down the other day after I was measuring this. You can tell right away because it's got the steel plate on it, if it's the right one. Yep. Oh. not hitting real hard but it's not it's like it's scraping a whole bunch where it was you know real tight on the sides or anything <sighs> Move it around some you can tell more by just touching it but uh, rubbing it around yeah it's pretty much the right size oil will be slightly thicker than that bluing is that bluing's a little thin so, yep, that'll work. Now put a couple tapered pins in it and put in the, uh, the grease holes. 
oil holes, excuse me, the oil holes, and something that I'd been forgetting about, I got a couple of lock holes that go here for a cellar that goes below this. It is a waste packing cellar, they call it, because it's down low. This is actually rides on top, and that's for holding extra material for making sure there's extra oil that can keep the shaft all nice and oily, and it also keeps things from falling out. And uh, the cellars don't fit as well as they should because the axles have all been turned a few times, but uh, you know, 200, not 200, 120 some years old, it's still doing pretty good. We'll, we'll forgive it a few inaccuracies here and there. Yeah, when they pinned these originally bearings they had in here, they put straight copper plugs through here and then they swaged them out. And that seemed like quite a bit of bother to me. And I happened to find some brass uh, tapered pins. You don't normally find them in brass, but I found some in brass that were big enough to do a decent job on this. And I'll put them in from the inside so that they can't fall out. And uh, then we'll just we'll grind the ends off of them a little bit. What I'll probably do, I'll put one on each side. Probably come in, because I really don't want it down in the main bearing area. So it'll probably come up here and come in at an angle. So that we can put one in here and then one in here on the other side. So it's got a couple of them. And we just dress the heads off a little. And there were two sizes of them that were for sale. One of them I bought because it was the first brass ones I'd seen in years. And the other one was slightly bigger and I figured was good for this job, which is good because I just got those a couple months ago. Feels like it needs to go. This one sticks out about three thousandths. This one sticks out about one. This one is in by about two thousandths. This one's about flush. I miss that's close enough. It, uh, some of their original bearings were stuck in a sixteenth of an inch, some stuck out an eighth. So 